Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Hello, boys and girls. Today we're going to be hack a lack, smack a lack, and a bitch on her ass end. So basically, we have our guest star here named Cameron Grant. Cameron, please uh, introduce yourself. <laughs> Alright, thank you, Cameron. Oh, I shouldn't have said his last name. He's going to get raped now. Anyways, um, today I'll be showing you how to use Dark Comment Legacy. Um, forgot what version 5.3.1. Don't download 5.4 because that is the legal version and being legal is for fags you can't create a server and hack people it's they have to voluntarily accept to it so I put a download link in the description for the right version so just go ahead and get that one it's 5.3.1 it's one version under it anyways let's get started so once you have extracted it you're gonna wanna I added this in here don't worry about that it's just a that was an icon changer thing don't worry don't worry about that, okay? Well, let's just let's just act like that never was there. Anyways, dark comment. Open it up. Okay, this is just telling you. Mm, you have to port forward. Uh, I'm gonna tell you about that and disable a Windows firewall. I already did that. I turn. I right click this and took my antivirus off of because uh, it kept telling me that it was a virus, but. I know it's not because I've used it. And okay, so this is where I have no people infected yet because I kind of cleared them all out, but so I could do this video. I only used it on my friends so far and uh it's pretty funny, but anyways, I'm going to be showing you how to infect other people and I'll explain how that works. So just go in here, click random a few times. This is what their name will be to you. So say you're gonna infect your uh, friend, you know, Charles Manson. Then you just type that in, and this you don't kind of need to give a shit about that. Everything in here you don't really need. To, oh yeah, I forgot about this. If you want to do a password, put a password in. I usually do that. I don't know why. It just tells me to. Uh, you need no IP. So look up uh look up what no IP is it's really easy you just I don't know why you need it don't even worry about it just make one cuz when I looked on a different tutorial everyone says that you need no IP even on the forums so this is my no IP thing please don't hack me uh this is the, the uh, oh yeah this is the port you have to port forward basically uh the way port forwarding works is it allows you to fuck like connect th through that port I guess it opens it up or something like that but just look up a port forwarding tutorial it's not that hard you should probably know it already know how to port forward if you're looking at packs like this but fuck my back is itchy uh keylogger make sure you have this on active offline keylogger whatever mode uh file binder okay you could bind this with like a picture or something this uh here, I'll show you how to do that. Let me find a picture. Alright, let's look at my porn stash. Uh, here, this is just some background I made. So I'm going to copy that to my desktop. Okay, so all you do is you find the thing you want to bind it to. So I'm going to do it to that. Add file. Now it's gonna open it. It's gonna make it look like a legit, like a legit picture now, so it doesn't look sketchy. Custom icon. Um, you can use a custom icon if you want. You could like go on YouTube and say that you know this is. Oh, here's the new fucking 2013 Facebook hack, and just put your own Facebook icon over it. Uh, just select that. That's basically all you need to really do. Um, build it this is basically the end of it you just okay let's just call it facebook 2013 bitches okay save it boom oh hey some retard on facebook or youtube's going to click on this and well that <laughs> Maybe you should put a fake Facebook hack in there. You should probably call it a, a picture if you're going to put a picture in it. So, 
if you're going to show your friends it, just write something like change the icon to a picture icon and c write like image 2043, okay? And then they'll think it's a picture I picture or whatever. Then when they open it, this is what's going to happen. Right when they open it, they're going to be, oh, cool, a sweet picture. Nothing's going to happen. But on your screen, you just fucking caught Charles Manson, the marsh, the la mouse trap. And uh, basically, you have complete control over him. So, all these you can do a lot of things to them, but the uh, probably the most things you'll probably be doing is stealing their passwords. So you just go to stored passwords. You're gonna I'm not gonna open this up because you're gonna see my passwords. But double click this, right click, refresh, and you'll see all their passwords. You can spy on them. You can send them your voice. Here I'm gonna do it right now. Hey, fuck you, you dumb bitch. Hey, fuck you, you dumb bitch. That's exactly what happens. Remote desktop. You double click. You can, if your computer's got a little bit slower internet connection, take this thing a little bit down. Just click start capture. And now you can see what they're doing. You can spy on them. This is creepy. Uh, webcam capture. You can spy on them through a webcam. I don't have a webcam here to show you myself, and you probably don't want to look at me. And keylogger. I've probably typed in passwords recently so I'm not going to open that up because I don't feel like editing that out and you can do things like play a goddamn piano through them uh, mic uh, you can remo remote chat them this is what they're seeing this is what you'll be seeing you just type in hey fuck you uh, oops yeah send and then like you can just make it shake and stuff like that okay it's a little bit scary anyways play around with all this stuff. It's really self-explanatory. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, suck a dick.